forces for today's match. And they've showcased what both clubs are fully capable of. And they should be proud of their achievements. Banks down on the attack. Shot there by Noel Arate, safely taken by Stephen Oski. Apolesi on the attack now. A tremendous amount of work's gone into hosting today's fixture. Full credits to the Bankstown and the Rockdale boards, namely from Rockdale, Peter Ruborowski, Zach Agioski, Louis Rolewski, Mendoj Klamowski, and from Bankstown, their secretary, Louis Apostolovsky, Peter Malewski. Who have put their heads together to bring us this fine game here today. Banks down on the attack now. Matthew Ball trying to find a gap. Trying to overtake Richard Pleasure, but the rock they call Pleasure. Saved Rockdale's day. Host of dignitaries here with today's game, President of Soccer New South Wales, Mr. Tom Demanis. To board directors, Mr. Dale Goodman and Mr. Jimmy Ronis. And also one of the new directors, Mr. George Jackson. Banks down with the shot. Shot there by Shane Webb. Off the boot of Mr. Borg. But the referee's blown offside. Opportunity gone begging there for Matthew Borg. Mr. Golden Boot for the 2003-2004 season with the Bankstown City Lions. The Premiership winning squad under the auspice of the former Bankstown City Lions coach Andy Papulius, who took out last year's grand final playing the Blue Devils at Marconi Stadium. Mark Honzalas, Honzalas to Webb, Arate. Liavis. Rosello threw ball to Sean Babbage. Sean Babbage trying to find Stevie Liavis. But the rock they call Richard Pleasure saves it via Tony Jew. Arate. Safely there by Young Apoleski. You like a pitch? It's a through ball to Rabbi Gomez, but unfortunately caught him off foot. Saved there by Shane Webb. Arate, Arate to Severino. Severino puts a through ball through. Sean Babbage. Trying to get around Scotty Bailey, but Unfortunately, didn't have the goods. Rockdale on the attack. Max Priscillo fouled by Nikki Bashevsky. Rockdale have pushed Bashevsky and Ilya Brzezowski up front. Matthew Borg. Borg to Severino. Severino, through ball through. Shane Webb, clearly offside there, puts his finger up. Another former NSL player with the Marconi Stallions, that is Shane Webb, Vilakapic. Cleared by Hans Lars. Young Apoleski, a season campaigner there for the Rockdale City Sun Squad. Don't bounce around, guys. Just sit still, please. <laughs> Fantastic crowd here, ladies and gentlemen. At the 
Jensen Park complex here, the Clapham Road complex, as they call it these days. Manzalaz with a clearance ball. Not really necessary in a game like this. Breeze coming through the ground in the second half, giving the players a bit of relief. Beautiful 28 degrees here in Sydney, Australia. Angelas with the clearance. Yulokovic. Gomez. Ball saved there by Daniel Severino. Rock fell on the attack now with Alilovic. Trying to find Bashevsky. Cleared by Liavis. Yulokovic. Rockdal back on the attack now. Shot from Rockdal. Saved by Zlatka Yusevsky. Slightly off foot there, Yusevsky. Would have been a bit of an embarrassing mistake had he not found his balance there. As the replay has just shown. Arate. Through to Liavis. Liavis trying to find ball. Richard Pleasure. Down City Lions recently had a five million dollar plan put forward to council where the Clapham Road complex will be turned into an international footballing complex within the city of Bankstown with two fields, full international sized lighting, drainage, accommodation facilities. And it's something that their board's looking forward to. Shot there by Arate, which goes wide. Proves of the strength within the Bankstown footballing community, whereby they've all put their heads together and they've put pen to paper with council architects for what should be one of the premier stadiums in Sydney. And I may say, in the state of New South Wales. Nora goes around Bilokovic, but couldn't get past Scotty Bailey. Very tight game so far. Both sides not prepared to give much of an inch. Liavis on the attack now, finds Sean Babbage. Babbage attacked by Steve Jew. Referee saw nothing in it. Play resumes. Rockdale on the attack. Alilovic. Bilokovic. Gomez. Gomez trying to find somebody. Puts the ball through. Finds Peter Apoleski. But no support there for Peter. Finding it very difficult to get around Shane Webb. Cameron Jones finds Apoleski with the through ball. Neat cross there by, cleared off the line by Georgie Nora. Peter Tsikinis puts a clearing shot which finds a deflection off the Rockdale Suns player. With Zlatka Yusevsky going off his line to clear the ball through. Foul there on Sean Babich. Down with the free kick. Daniel Severino. Finds Mark Honzelas. Finds Matthew Ball. Ball to Babbage. Babbage loses possession to George to Robbie Gomez. Gomez to Apoleski. 
Hermes. George Nora banks down on the attack. Robbie Gomez never quite made it to the end. Throw into Rockdale. Peter Apoleski. Been given the honours here. Shane Webb attacking. Clearance there by Scotty Bailey. Peter Tikinis. Severino. Good one touch there. Arate. Arate finds Matthew Borg. Matthew Borg on the attack now. Matthew Borg going through. Matthew shoots. Saved there by the right foot of Scotty Bailey for a corner for Bankstown City Lions. Bankstown City Lions obviously lifting their tempo here in the second half. Trying to make the most of the opportunity. Arate going across to take the corner. Take the average height of the banks down defence. They're all six footers, all pushed forward. Fine save there by Stephen Oski. Jolokovic. Jolokovic puts a through ball back to Arate. Severino and the referee have a bit of a token. Rockdale on the attack now. Alilovic. Oh, tough challenge there. Unnecessary. Ilya Prenzowski has felt the side of the right boot of Peter Tsikenis. Obviously, it wasn't intentional. I'm sure, there was no malice in that. Especially coming from a player like Peter Tsikenis. But it's certainly taken the wind out of Ilya Prenzowski. comes up to say a few words to the referee about the positioning of the wall. <laughs> Replacement there for the Rockdale City Suns. Brian Jones coming on for Robert Gomez. Robbie Gomez has caused Banks down some havoc in the first half. Aerial, aerial kick there by Matthew Ball. Shot by Rockdale, safely taken by Yosefsky. Stephen Liavis plays it back to Severino. Severino on the attack now. Banks down need to push forward now. Severino finds George Nora. George Nora going through. Loses the ball, Cameron Jones. Ball coming off the side of Noel Arate for a throw in to Rockdale. Replacement for the Bankstown City Lions. Omar Saadi coming on for Mark Honzalaz, one of the future stars of the Bankstown City Lions football club. Young Omar Saadi's come through the playing ranks of the Bankstown City Club's Youth League Development Program and a current apprentice with the Bankstown City Lions. And has certainly made the most of his opportunities coming on as a sub during the New South Wales Premier League competition, flying his trade for the under-20 squad for the Bankstown City Lions. Rockdale on the attack. Poleski. Poleski through to Bilokapic. Bilokapic gives the possession away back to Bankstown. Severino finds Sean Babbage on his own on the right. 
Sean Babbage trying to get through. Unfortunately, Sean Babbage lost possession to Steve Jew. Bit of a scanter there in the Rockdale goalmouth. But at the end of the day, Tony Jew saved the day for Rockdale. And has kept this stanza of the game goalless. again. Fine move there by Rockdale. Cameron Jones. Olivovich. Loses position to Arate. Banks down. Turning things around. Matthew Borg fouled by Bilokovic. Free kick quickly taken by Matthew Borg. Finds Steve Viavis on the right. Steve Viavis and Tony Jew have had a real, real big tussle today. Georgie Nora. Koshevsky, Bilokovic, Cameron Jones, pass backs to Alilovic. Geez, Alilovic's work rate today has been exceptional. He's been all over the park for Rockdale, certainly controlling their midfield. Jones tries to find Nikki Koshevsky, but the linesman has had a different view, finding him offside. Replacement again for the Bankstown City Lions. Number 12, Robert Molesky coming on for Matthew Borg. Matthew Borg recently coming back from a stomach strain injury. Not happy with his replacement, but certainly has put in a gallant effort in the derby game today. And full credit to Matthew Borg. Cleared by Bilokovic. Alilovic tries to find Bashevsky. Cleared off the line by there by Priscilla. Moleski is coming on. Giving Rockdale a free kick. That's another byproduct of the Bankstown City Lines Youth Development Program. A very successful program at that. Robin Moleski is one of the seasoned strikers throughout the Bankstown youth system and certainly a danger when he comes on the field for his under 20 squad. Rockdale on the attack. Koshevsky back to Apoleski. Apoleski finds Koshevsky. Ball taken back. Bankstown on the attack. George Nora trying to find Severino. Severino across to Babbage. Tries to lob the keeper. Ball certainly trying to find the back of the Rockdale net for Bankstown. And things just not going the way Bankstown expected. Apoleski. Bailey. Switches play. Rockdale on the attack now with Ryan Jones. Safely saved there by one of the pillars of the Banks Down defence, young Matthew Priscillo. Certainly has a big playing future here in the New South Wales Premier League with Banks Down. And in our eyes, certainly a candidate for the forthcoming A League competition. It's good to see players, agents and officials from the A-League here today at the um, Derby fixture. Knowing full well that this has been billed as a match of the round in the New South Wales Premier League competition. And it also shows you the strength within the playing rosters of the Bankstown City Lions and the Rockdale City Suns. 
free kick going to Bankstown. Replacement for Rockdale. Jimmy Ashner coming on for Dennis Lilovic. Fine performance there so far today by Dennis Lilovic, earning praise from his supporters. And having the likes of Dennis Lilovic with his skills as an attacking midfielder, but obviously being replaced by a seasoned campaigner called Jimmy Ashner. Banks down on the attack. George Nora. Severino. Cross to Narate for the cross. Header by Babich. Too high, too wide. But to Babich. He's certainly been very difficult for the Rockdale defence to handle so far. Causing havoc at every opportunity. He's finding it difficult to find the back of the net. Liavis. Headed back safely by Scotty Bailey. Not taking any opportunities there, Scott. Poliski. This game today has been brought to you by Aussie Mac TV, Riverovsky Catering and Equipment, and Imperial Travel. Severino switches play. Rockdale on the attack through Jones. But again, this, the strength of Matthew Pacello. Not giving this Rockdale attacking formation any opportunity to have a shot on the Banks down goal. Again, as much as this is probably a record crowd for the New South Wales Premier League competition, the game is being exported to Europe with a delayed telecast being shown in the Republic of Macedonia, which is a very big windfall for the Australian Macedonian community and for football in New South Wales and Australia. The first time a New South Wales Premier League game being exported to Europe. Rockdale with a corner. Cleared off there by Peter Sakenis. Shot there goes wide. For another corner for Rockdale. Jones with the corner. Scott Bailey pushes forward. But unfortunately his head has gone wide. The scores as they stand, Rockdale 1, Bankstown City Lions 1, and the referee's blown to full-time whistle, ladies and gentlemen. The final score here at Jensen Park, the Clapham Road Complex, Bankstown City Lions 1, Rockdale City Suns 1. The goal scorer is for Rockdale, number 9, Nick Bashevsky in the 21st minute, and for Bankstown in the 47th minute, Daniel Severino. Fantastic atmosphere, fantastic crowd and a great game produced by two of the best clubs in the New South Wales Premier League competition for the inaugural derby game, the first of both games, where a cup has been will be presented to the winners for this year's 2004 The Derby inaugural game between Rockdale City Suns and the Bankstown City Lions. Thank you for watching today's game with me. We hope you've enjoyed today's performance by both clubs and we look forward to bringing you the second game the Derby 2 coming to you again from the Hello Turf of Clapham Road at Jensen for what should be one hell of a match come round 2 I'm Louis Postolovsky signing off for Aussie Mac Television thank you and have a good day